Deuteronomy 25. If there is a dispute between men, and they go to court for judgment, and the judges judge their case, and they justify the righteous and condemn the wicked, then it shall be, if the wicked man deserves to be struck, the judge shall then make him lie down, and be struck in his presence with the number of stripes according to his guilt. He may strike him forty times, but no more, lest he strike him with many more stripes than these, and your brother be dishonored in your eyes. You shall not muzzle the ox while it is threshing. If brothers live together and one of them dies and has no son, then the wife of the one who died shall not be married outside the family to a strange man. Her husband's brother shall go in to her and take her to himself as wife and perform the duty of a husband's brother to her. And it will be that the firstborn whom she bears shall assume the name of his dead brother, so that his name will not be blotted out from Israel. But if the man does not desire to take his brother's wife, then his brother's wife shall go up to the gate to the elders and say, My husband's brother refuses to raise up a name for his brother in Israel. He is not willing to perform the duty of a husband's brother to me. Then the elders of his city shall summon him and speak to him. And if he stands and says, I do not desire to take her, then his brother's wife shall come to him in the sight of the elders and pull his sandal off his foot and spit in his face. And she shall answer and say, Thus it is done to the man who does not build up his brother's house. And in Israel his name shall be called, The house of him whose sandal is removed. If two men, a man and his brother, are struggling together, and the wife of one comes near to deliver her husband from the hand of the one who is striking him, and she puts out her hand and seizes his genitals, then you shall cut off her hand. You shall not show pity. You shall not have in your bag differing weights, a large and a small. You shall not have in your house differing measures, a large and a small. You shall have a full and just weight. You shall have a full and just measure, that your days may be prolonged in the land which Yahweh your God gives you. For everyone who does these things, everyone who acts unjustly, is an abomination to Yahweh your God. Remember what Amalek did to you along the way when you came out from Egypt. How he met you along the way and attacked among you all the stragglers at your rear. But you were faint and weary, and he did not fear God. Therefore it will be, when Yahweh your God has given you rest from all your surrounding enemies, in the land which Yahweh your God gives you as an inheritance to possess, you shall blot out the memory of Amalek from under heaven. You must not forget. Psalm 116 I love Yahweh, because he hears my voice and my supplications. Because he has inclined his ear to me, so I shall call upon him in all my days. The cords of death encompass me, and the distresses of Sheol found me. I found distress and sorrow. Then I called upon the name of Yahweh. O Yahweh, I beseech you, provide my soul escape. Gracious is Yahweh and righteous, and our God is compassionate. Yahweh keeps the simple. I was brought low, and he saved me. Return to your rest, O my soul, for Yahweh has dealt bountifully with you. For you have rescued my soul from death, my eyes from tears, my feet from stumbling. I shall walk before Yahweh in the land of the living. I believed when I said, I am greatly afflicted. I said in my alarm, all men are liars. What shall I give to Yahweh in return for all of his bountiful dealings with me? I shall lift up the cup of salvation and call upon the name of Yahweh. I shall pay my vows to Yahweh. Oh, may it be in the presence of all his people. Precious in the sight of Yahweh is the death of his holy ones. O oh, Yahweh, surely I am your slave. I am your slave, the son of your maidservant. You have loosed my bonds. To you I shall offer a sacrifice of thanksgiving and call upon the name of Yahweh. I shall pay my vows to Yahweh. Oh, may it be in the presence of all his people. In the courts of the house of Yahweh, in the midst of you, O Jerusalem, praise Yah. Psalm 52 Awake, awake, clothe yourself in your strength, O Zion. Clothe yourself in your glorious garments, O Jerusalem, the holy city. For the uncircumcised and the unclean will no longer come into you. Shake yourself from the dust. Rise up, O captive Jerusalem. Loose yourself from the chains around your neck, O captive daughter of Zion. For thus says Yahweh, 
You were sold for nothing, and you will be redeemed without money. For thus says Lord Yahweh, My people went down at the first into Egypt to sojourn there. Then the Assyrian oppressed them without cause. So now, what do I have here, declares Yahweh, since my people have been taken away for nothing? Yahweh declares, Those who rule over them howl, and my name is continually blasphemed all day long. Therefore my people shall know my name. Therefore in that day I am the one who is speaking. Here I am. How lovely on the mountains are the feet of him who proclaims good news, who announces peace and proclaims good news of good things, who announces salvation and says to Zion, Your God reigns. The voice of your watchmen, they lift up their voices. They shout joyfully together, for they will see with their own eyes when Yahweh returns to Zion. Break forth, shout joyfully together, you waste places of Jerusalem. For Yahweh has comforted his people. He has redeemed Jerusalem. Yahweh has bared his holy arm in the sight of all the nations, that all the ends of the earth may see the salvation of our God. Depart, depart, go out from there, touch nothing unclean. Go out of the midst of her, purify yourselves, you who carry the vessels of Yahweh. But you will not go out in haste, nor will you go as those who flee. For Yahweh will go before you, and the God of Israel will be your rear guard. Behold, my servant will prosper. He will be high and lifted up and greatly exalted. Just as many were appalled at you, my people, so his appearance was marred more than any man, and his form more than the sons of men. Thus he will sprinkle many nations. Kings will shut their mouths on account of him. For what had not been told them they will see, and what they had not heard they will understand. Revelation 22 Then he showed me a river of the water of life, bright as crystal, coming from the throne of God and of the Lamb in the middle of its street. On either side of the river was the tree of life, bearing twelve kinds of fruit, yielding its fruit every month, and the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. And there will no longer be any curse, and the throne of God and of the Lamb will be in it, and his slaves will serve him, and they will see his face, and his name will be on their foreheads. And there will no longer be any night, and they will not have need of the light of a lamp nor the light of the sun, because the Lord God will illumine them, and they will reign forever and ever. And he said to me, these words are faithful and true. And the Lord, the God of the spirits of the prophets, sent his angel to show to his slaves the things which must soon take place. And behold, I am coming quickly. Blessed is he who keeps the words of the prophecy of this book. I, John, am the one who is hearing and seeing these things. And when I heard and saw, I fell down to worship at the feet of the angel who showed me these things. But he said to me, Do not do that. I am a fellow slave with you, and your brothers the prophets, and with those who keep the words of this book. Worship God. And he said to me, Do not seal up the words of the prophecy of this book, for the time is near. Let the one who does unrighteousness still do unrighteousness, and the one who is filthy still be filthy. And let the one who is righteous still do righteousness, and the one who is holy still keep himself holy. Behold, I am coming quickly, my reward is with me, to render to every man according to his work. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Blessed are those who wash their robes, so that they may have the authority to the tree of life, and may enter by the gates into the city. Outside are the dogs and the sorcerers, and the sexually immoral persons, and the murderers and the idolaters, and everyone who loves and practices lying. I, Jesus, sent my angel to bear witness to you of these things for the churches. I am the root and the descendant of David, the bright morning star. And the Spirit and the bride say, Come. And let the one who hears say, Come. And let the one who is thirsty come. Let the one who wishes receive the water of life without cost. I bear witness to everyone who hears the words of the prophecy of this book. If anyone adds to them, God will add to him the plagues which are written in this book. And if anyone takes away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God will take away his part from the tree of life and from the holy city which are written in this book. 
He who bears witness to these things says, Yes, I am coming quickly. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. The grace of the Lord Jesus be with all. Amen.